What's up, everyone? Welcome to Marketing by John. I'm John Timmerman. Today, we're talking Tesla's tequila. That's right. Tesla came out with a bottle of tequila, a 250 bottle of tequila, nonetheless. Now, you might be thinking, why the f*** would tes Tesla come out with tequila? That makes no sense. But I will tell you exactly why it makes so much sense, and I'm so jealous that I did not think of this idea for Tesla. So, one thing you're going to hear me talk a lot about on this show is brand because at 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 the very 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 foundational level of marketing is brand. The importance of brand drastically outweighs any sort of hack tactic, you know, deliverable that you can possibly think of inside of uh, marketing. So, I mean, you can come at me all you want with your SEO and your your social media, but those are all um those are all the branches to the trunk or the core of what is marketing. In fact, fittingly enough, in my other show, Quotes to Live By, I, uh, I mentioned a quote by Elon Musk that when you boil it down, it basically means that you can learn anything if you start from the roots and the trunk, and then you go up to the big branches, and then you go out to the limbs. But if you try to go the other way around, things are going to break. Those limbs could break. You know, you need to make sure that they're strong enough to... to withhold whatever's hanging on the end of those branches. Well, this is the same concept when marketing, and that's exactly why Tesla's coming out with a tequila. At the core of marketing is brand. That's what keeps everything else up. It's what keeps SEO and social media and traditional media and billboards and anything else you put on top of it. It's what keeps it up. So why is Tesla coming out with a tequila? It's brand. So if you look at tequila over the past we'll say five years, it has now surpassed most other liquors to be the premium uh, spirit, if you will, in, definitely in the U.S. Um, so when you compare it to whiskey, uh, when you compare it to vodka, when you compare it to gin, tequila is the premium t uh, type of spirit. It's not what it used to be. When I was graduating college, when I was college, it was shots. You did shots of tequila until you couldn't see anymore. That's what tequila was. Today's day and age, it's a sipping drink. It's the reason why The Rock came out with Terramana Tequila and is the fastest growing spirit ever. I mean, that's because of The Rock. But nonetheless, George Clooney, Casamigos, sold for a billion dollars. Tequila is a premium uh, spirit. And uh, so Tesla's aligning a premium spirit with their premium brand. So Tesla is a premium car brand. You need a lot of money to be able to afford a Tesla, at least currently you do. So people who buy Teslas, they buy it as a status. Most people, 99% of people, whether you like this statement or not, they're buying it as a status symbol. Even if they want to go green, they're going green so they feel better about themselves and people can see that they're going green. They're, they're uh, buying a more energy efficient car and, and one that uh, is more carbon neutral, if you will. So there's a premium status with owning a Tesla. There's a premium status with drinking high-end tequila. Their tequila is $250. It's also out of stock. If I wanted to go buy it right now on their website, which I'm on Tesla's website right now, I couldn't buy it. It's out of stock. So Tesla's doing a bunch of things right here when it comes to brand. It's a premium tequila. It comes in a f***ing premium bottle. The thing looks like, well, let's put a screenshot up here. Uh, it looks like a lightning bolt. It looks like a, a charging symbol. So electric vehicle, lightning bolt, charging, it makes sense. It's sitting on top of this holder that's like this beautiful metal with the Tesla symbol. So you literally take the bottle out of this holder. You take the top of the lightning bolt out. You pour it. You put it. Oh, my God. It's, it's amazing. I want one so bad. I just want to buy it so I can put it in the background here of my podcast. So premium spirit. They got a premium bottle. It looks like an award. It looks like it's nicer than f f Oscar awards. And um, uh, so it's premium, right? So it aligns with the Tesla brand. Premium, premium. Um, it's scarcity. They're using the scarcity model, which is so important in marketing. That's why we run deals that expire. That's why we limit tickets to something. Um, it's because we want that scarcity mentality to enter people's minds. So they came out with a limited amount. I'm not actually sure how many they came they came out with. Um, but a lot of them were pre-sold. Even here it says deliveries expected to begin in late 2020. So people pre-ordered these things. They pre-ordered 
tequila. Um, you know, Tesla was smart about it. It's produced by Nostros Tequila and fulfilled by Speakeasy Co. So they basically licensed, you know, they had somebody else make the tequila, came up with the bottle, put their logo on it. So they're not doing a lot of the operations. It's a marketing ploy. It's genius marketing. Elon Musk, founder, genius marketer. He's like Steve Jobs. He's like the current Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs is an amazing marketer. Elon Musk is an amazing marketer. He's got his own personal brand that he uses to kind of build his companies. Uh, he's also very outspoken and very different. He's pulling off moves like this. No other car company is coming out with liquor. Now, you know, take that with a grain of salt because I could be proven wrong if you Google enough. But um, they're getting in the news. That is the big thing is that this move is a PR stunt. They're not going to make tons of sales off of tequila, but they're going to get tons of impressions. They're going to get tons of engagement. They're going to get tons of press. Um, and people that buy this Tesla tequila are going to feel a little bit better about Tesla. They're going to feel like they need a Tesla a little bit more. Um, and it's a brand loyalty thing. I bet you a lot of Tesla owners bought this tequila. So my point here is that brand is at the foundation of marketing. Tesla understands that. And no matter what they put their logo on, as long as it is aligned with a premium status uh, symbol or product that is revolutionary, forward-thinking, um, in the future, it, it will work. People will buy it because Tesla logo is on it. Um, hopefully you found this valuable. Make sure if you're looking at your own brand, your own business, whether it's a farm or you're a lawyer or whatever it is, look at this inspira Look at this as inspiration for identifying other things that align and support your brand. Whether they make you money or they don't, improving your brand is a good long-term strategy all the time. This has been Marketing by John. I'm your host, John. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe for future podcasts if this you found this valuable. See you, everyone.